Horada, Croiso e Parados Diaries. Welcome to Parados Diaries on this beautiful morning. It's been raining all week, um, and then the day that we are going to be outside, it's sunny. So that's a little sign, isn't it? That's good. Today we are um, grafting the fruit trees together. So we've got a few guys coming over. Uh, Phil, most importantly, to show us how to graft fruit trees. Uh, but then our friend Andy's going to come as well and come and learn how to do it with us. And so we are going to start to put um, all of the um, fruit trees into the guards there. Ideally, we wouldn't put them straight in to the ground, apparently, but the Welsh Government grant we've got means that we need to, because um, I need to be able to take a geotagged picture to claim for the grant. And that's about £850 worth of money, so we're not going to miss out on that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be grafting today. Hope you enjoy it and you learn something as we go along. Should have said previously as well, we've uh, planted all of these um, walnut and hazelnut trees as well. So just along this bank where we've cleared all the gore, uh, all the brash and the bramble. So we've cleared all that down and then planted all these. So we've got three big walnuts um, and then a load of hazelnuts all the way down there. So hopefully these all grow into nice trees and provide nuts one day. But if not, um, great wood carving wood. So there we go. Okay, so the crew have arrived. They're over there, look, grabbing the rootstocks. I'll go show you in a sec. But first of all, just wanted to show you some of the uh, graft wood that Phil's brought. Look at all these. So well labelled. So we've got some commis there, cocksapple there, ashmead kernel, um, sonnet, there's uh, Worcester. So loads of different types here. And the thing with it is that each one um, so from this one we could probably get two or three easy out of it. You need four buds along or four or five buds and then so you just need about that much. So look there's all of that left. So he's brought a selection of different, um, uh, these are called graft woods from his trees and so now we're going to put these onto the rootstocks which I'll go show you now. So there we go. This is Andy. Say hi Andy. Hi Andy. <clears throat> so these are the rootstocks. So these came a little while ago and we planted them to keep them alive. See, they've already started to bud, look. So now this is where the magic happens when we put these together. So we've got 15 apple and five pear rootstocks. You know, based on this knot here, that's yeah. one year. Yeah, that's the growth wings. Yeah. That's where it stopped last year. Okay. So here's us cutting a few more bits from our trees as well to be able to graft together. So here's Handy having a praxis. And this is a traditional graft, so two pieces going together that are the same size. But then Phil has been shown as a few different ways of doing it, so this is called a church window graft. So just taking a little slither from the side of a thicker rootstock when we're trying to attach just a smaller bit of graft wood. And then he does the classic sort of swift cut across the graft wood to get it nice and long and straight piece. Then you put a little incision in, which is a bit nerve-wracking when you're trying to cut towards your thumb, but nice firm, and then open that cut up, and then you do the same in the other side, the graft wood. So the aim is to try and get the cambrium layer together, so the kind of little ring, the lighter ring, just inside the bark that you see. So if we can line those two up, because that's where all of the life and um, growth will come through. So when you put them together, look at that, a perfect church window. And so you attach those together, tie it round with some of this special stretchy tape that then will grow as the tree grows. Tie that off, make sure it's really nice and tight. And then there you have it, a new graft. So from that rootstock, it will grow into the apple of the graft wood that you've put on top. Perfect. Okay, so the masterclass from Phil is complete um, and me and Andy are now going to try and plant these out. Here we go. Digging over. Jumping fences. Let's do this. We're jumping fences. Yeah, I had to fence it off early because I was worried we wouldn't have enough time before the end of March to get this done. <laughs> so here we go. Let's get it done. First of all... <laughs> oh, this is fun. Here we go. We're in. It's higher than I thought. So I'd already dig, dug over this a little bit just to kill off some of the grass. 
um, don't actually have much soil, it turns out. But we'll see. We'll see if we can get in here. How deep do we need to go? Do you want to pass me one, Andy? Any will do. Right. Oh, an unknown. An unknown, let's see. Oh yeah. It's about right, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we're gonna put a bit of fertilizer in the bottom. Just a bit of that in. Stand it up, make sure the roots are in. Put all this back over. Worms actually, but a few. Alright, put that back over, should put my gloves on. Just slump it down a bit, and then that's it. One of these on, over the top, nice and gently. Don't want to knock the graft off. We'll put a post in as well, and then we might not tie it yet because we don't want to pull the the graft away. But that's it. It'll look alright, won't it? Hey. Nice hat, dude. Love that. Here's Mummy and Joss. Right, got a little production line going now, look. Four in already. Ten minutes. Andy's digging. We're planting. Bossing this, Rach. That's it, make sure that all the soil gets nice and tight to all the roots. Top really gently. Perfect. Okay, that's a good idea. Oh, well done, Jess. Well done. Your Thor? Daddy. Yeah, mucky hands. It's all right, means you've done some work. Yeah. Alright, see you later then, Nurse. Oh, you're stuck in! Oh, no! You have to stay down here. Oh. Hi, Dad. Hey, DC. Me and his hat a picture of you. You did some recording? Yes. Ah, oh, good job, cameraman. Your dad? Yes, matey. So this one's going to be a Bramley apple, which is a nice cooker. Okay? Okay, daddy. Yeah, thanks, matey. Mummy, have a picture of that poo. All right, here we go. So pears are going in now. So Andy's done a marvellous job planting them. I think there's a couple more to go. This is helping, look, doing some digging. And then what we've got, this is much simpler because this isn't part of the grant, so we can go as cheap as possible. Three posts. We'll wire around the outside to try and keep the sheep away. Um, post strong enough so that when they rub on it, that they... Uh, don't knock it over and hopefully then the pear tree will get going enough uh, tall enough so that then when these posts come out it will be able to sustain the pressure of a sheep so what I'm doing is I'm getting a bowl of wood chip this from last year Start to degrade a little bit, uh, which is good. So we're back to mulch, and then huh, what I'm doing. Oh, my athleticism turned the camera. So then, getting some of this wool, I'm kind of creating a a covering around here, like this. So this will help keep the soil warm and the moisture in 
and keep all the grass and weeds away as well. So they're not gonna compete and take all the moisture. But then to add to that, put some of this. So this as well will primarily act as weed control, but will also do the job keeping moisture in and, um, and eventually this will mulch down all the nutrients from this wood chip will go into the soil and be taken up by the tree. So this is giving the tree the best chance of life at the start. The best start we can give it. And there we go. Nice little circle. Now we've got the rest of this patch here that ideally if I had more wood chip, I would wood chip all of this with a couple of inches at least to help keep the grass down because otherwise this grass without sheep nibbling on it is going to come up very quickly and it will very quickly um, overtop the tree. So need to think about how to do this. Hopefully you're going to get some more wood chip and then can cover it. But if not, um, we're going to have to like very carefully strim it and cut it down to just keep that down. We don't need to do too much, but just enough. Um, but we'll see. see if I can get my hands on some more wood chip or how far this pile goes. This is actually going further than I thought it would, which is good. Right, so that's four of these done. Seven more squares to do. The pairs are done. And then we just need to get the other trees in the ground, the spare ones in the veg patch. Hey, sheep and lamb. You okay? Is your little lamb okay? Hello, darling. You all right? I know, I'm just saying hello, checking she's okay. Oh, so small. Yes, well done, Mum. You're doing a really good job. Keep going. Yes. There you go. I'll leave you to her. Ah, so there we go. All that done. And actually, there's loads of wood chip left, which I'm really pleased with. Probably only used about a third, maybe a half. So can definitely do sort of another ring around there so it can get a good sort of 50, 60 centimetres away from the plant. But there we go. There they all are. 11 apple trees down here, five pear trees, and then four apple trees that just need to go put into the um, uh, the veg patch now. We're going to use a bit of that to keep them there. Really, oh, it's amazing. It's one of those incredible things where we're planting something that we know, hopefully, as long as they grow, will be here probably beyond us. And just the idea of like the boys climbing in the trees and collecting the apples and what we can do with so many apple and pear trees going forwards. Um, it's just amazing. So let's hope that they work. You will get updates, of course, throughout the year and so on. Um, so to put a bit more wood chip out, but I think that'll be for tomorrow because it's, it's getting late now and it's probably time for tea. So uh, yeah, let's go finish off, tidy up and then head in.